Today, I'm going to show how to install lights in my River Rossi New York Central heavyweight uh, passenger cars. Now, I'm not real good at wiring, and I recently discovered a product from a company in England. These are made in England. The company is called Train Tech. And they produce coach lighting for various different styles of coach. I have essentially the simple, simplest one here. All it requires is this LED light strip, which according to the directions on the back of the package, can be trimmed as needed. You see where the little dotted lines are located? This is where you can trim the LED strip down to size. You need the strip, uh, these 2032 batteries, some double-sided tape, and we're ready to go. First thing to do is open the package. My handy-dandy little scissors here. I'm going to open the plastic bag. There are several sellers of this product on eBay, and I decided with these two to order directly from the supplier, one of the listed suppliers in England. Uh, I believe it's called Amanda Jane, and uh, they sell all kind of nifty supplies there. It takes a little while to get from there to here, but once it does, it's going to be fun. For mounting, I use this Scotch Clear Heavy Duty Mounting Tape. And I'm going to go ahead and cut, let's cut a couple of strips off of this, small strips, and we're going to install the light in the passenger coach. First thing to do is to remove the top from the coach. Now I've already clipped, I should say cut off the uh, stationary holding clips from the bottom of the coach, which allows me to simply now lift the roof section off quite easily. And there's the, the body. And here's the underside. Now, one thing that I did notice, the inside of the coach, the interior walls need to be trimmed down as to allow the battery and the battery section not to contact anything. If it contacts, if, if pressure is applied to the battery, the lights will not function properly. The way they function is quite simple. Once the strip is put in, you put your battery in, put your top on your vehicle, uh, the lights will come on at the first movement, but then after about three to four and a half or so minutes, the lights go off. When you turn on your trains and the locomotive jolts the cars into action, the lights come on. Very cool. So let's get started taking this off the paper backing. It's just on there with a little, a little rubbery sticky glue. That comes off. Now this strip fits in full length of the River Rossi passenger coach, okay? Now to, once you discover where it sits, it's a simple matter to figure out where on the internal structure of the car, the roof will need to be taken down. Not the roof, the, uh, the interior walls. And I'm going to take down from here, I'm going to take down this, I'll do it like this, my goodness. I'm simply going to take down this wall to about here. Okay, I'm going to take it right down. And for that, I'm going to use a sprue cutter. I'm just going to go ahead and trim it down. May not be the neatest way to do it, but sure makes quick work of it. Now, just for the heck of it, and just to avoid any possible future problems, I'm going to take down the wall on the opposite side, the same fashion. 
I'm going to clip it all away. Like so. Like so. And like so. So, buttons. Okay. I'll go right across here like this and snip it. I'm going to try to snip it. Here we go. Gone. Gone. Done and done. Now, that will go back into the body of the, of the coach. Like so. Make sure it's fitting properly. Now we're going to go ahead and put some tape to the inside of the roof section here and here. I'm going to take the tape. Now I'm going to go ahead and peel the paper backing. This is clear tape. I'm going to peel it off camera because it takes a little doing. Okay. I have one piece of tape in here already. And I'm going to put another piece of tape in right here. I'll try and get my big fingers out of the way. There we go. Gently and quickly just kind of tap this down onto the roof. Ah, gets a little frustrating sometimes. You want, you want to get it centered. Above all, you want the light strip centered. And right down the middle. Here we go. It's that quick. Now we put a battery in. Put the batteries in. Peel the paper off the back of the battery. Expose that. And lay this in. Like so. Like so. Flat side up. And you just need to press it in. Get it in there. Come on, son, get down. In you go. Here we are. And we have lights. There you go. Now you can see that they're lit. There we are. It's hard to see it against the uh, LED light that's at my table here. Now we're just going to fit this make sure we have good clearance and it goes down all the way. Now I'm going to get a flashlight and look in through the window just to be sure we're not making contact with the battery and I can see clearly that we are not making contact with the battery. How well this is picking up on camera, if at all. The lights playing havoc with the autofocus here. But there's plenty, plenty of clearance. Now, just let me kill the, the, the large overhead light. We kill that and get this sucker to focus. There we are. And there we have lights. It's that simple. It's just that simple. There are the lights. Just like so. And once you put passengers in these cars, it looks even better because all the little various colors of the passengers are all lit up. And it really, really looks wonderful. And it's just that easy. Again, this is from Train Tech. Uh, it's available, it's from England, and it is available to purchase from over there to bring here in the States. Just that easy.